second indictment of New York Mayor Eric Adams has brought millions of dollars of taxpayer funds into question, money he used to become mayor in the first place. Yeah, there are funds some city council members say that the mayor should now be required to pay back. Investigative reporter Dan Kraft joins us now with more. And Dan, you poured through 900 documents. A lot of pages there. Yeah, we're talking about your tax dollars and how they were spent on his bid to become mayor. It's pretty complicated, but to understand it best, we need to start back at the beginning when Mayor Adams was first elected three years ago. This is our moment and our movement. Join me. When Eric Adams first ran for the city's top office in 2021. So help me God. And was sworn in as mayor. He received 10 million in taxpayer dollars to help pay for his campaign. That's because the city has what's called a matching funds program. For every dollar you give to a campaign, the city matches it with another $8 in taxpayer funds. So a $250 donation quickly turns into $2,000. It's a way to level the playing field for everyday New Yorkers that don't have rich corporate backers to run for office. But here's the issue. The federal indictment claims Adams accepted some illegal donations from foreign donors and used those donations to steal public tax dollars from the matching funds program. I'm hopeful because I did nothing wrong. Allegations the mayor has repeatedly denied. It's so important that there be real accountability here. City Council Member Lincoln Ressler wants the campaign finance board who controls the funds to require Adams to give it all back and to prevent him from getting any new money for next year's campaign. Mayor Adams has proven that he does not deserve taxpayer dollars matching funds to run his campaign. Meanwhile, the mayor hasn't tied up financial loose ends from his last campaign. We obtained this finance board draft audit of the mayor's 2021 campaign expenses. It shows Adams' campaign failed to document more than $2.2 million in expenses. The board wants more documents involving expenses ranging from TV ads to consulting contracts to car repairs. The mayor's attorney has until the end of next month to respond to the audit. My concern is about right and wrong. My concern is about protecting the integrity of our campaign finance system. The chair of the finance board released a statement after the indictment saying in part, while the mayor is presumed innocent until proven guilty and deserves due process, the board will nonetheless review all relevant information, including but not limited to the indictment, in order to uphold our city's campaign finance rules and protect taxpayer dollars. We have reached out to the mayor's campaign attorney numerous times over the last week, and he has not responded to our request for information or for comments. He has said publicly repeatedly, though, that the campaign followed all the rules mm -hmm. and will continue to follow the rules moving forward. So, Dan, when is the city's finance board going to decide how to move forward? It has to do something soon because the next set of matching dollars for mm -hmm. 2025 starts to get released in December. Okay. So they have until like the first week of December to figure this all out, how to move forward. This is Should he have to pay anything back from the past? Right. And can he get any more matching funds moving okay. forward?